Hello and welcome to another episode of Unbox Tech Bytes. Today we're going to be unboxing the Asus ROG Strix 4080 16GB non-overclocked version. Back at the end of September, Nvidia announced its new lineup of 4000 cards. They released the 4090 first, absolute behemoth of a card and coming in at over £2000 I was not interested in. And then they shortly released the 4080. Now this came as a 12GB card and there was such public furor about the bang for buck that they quickly unlaunched this card. A couple of months later, they are back and they released the 4080 as a 16 gigabyte card. Will it be a suitable improvement over the 3080? We'll see. So there is, however, gonna be a big difference in how I intend to cool my 4080. The 3080 is currently cooled using the stock heatsink and fan assembly, mounted horizontally and direct into the PCI slot. Um, when gaming encoding, I don't need to use radiators in that room, even in the depths of winter. The 4080, however, is going to be vertically mounted and added into the custom mortar loop using EK's Quantum Vector ABP set. This cooling set will be unboxed and reviewed in a separate video with the link above, so please do check that out. This set has both an active front and back plate, giving it cooling on both sides of the card. Now that's quite important because the amount of copper that is within the silicone, that heat really doesn't have anywhere to go. This should help draw that heat out and keep those temperatures nice and low. Now as we continue our look around the card, we come to our 12 VHPWR power connector. Now please be sure to plug this all the way in if you do have one of the 4000 series graphics cards to eliminate any of the melting points. And here we also have our fitting for our PCIe 5 connection. This will also fit PCIe 4 slots as well. As we come on to the rear side, we then have our outputs. We have three display ports and two HDMI connections, giving a total support of up to four monitors. And last but not least, we now have the RGB that highlights it around the side and also two PWM fan headers. Now, this is the end of the unboxing. I do hope it's been useful for some of you. Please do click and subscribe. There'll be plenty more to come.